Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, and I want to share a little tidbit with you. Some of you look into your future, and then you reflect on your past, and you wonder, how did things come so short of what your vision was to begin with? How did things seem to get short-circuited and canceled out? And how did you fall so far behind the goal? Well, let's put it like this. Human beings look at degrees. Human beings look at the credentials. Human beings look at certain types of accomplishments as being worthy of admiration. But what God looks at first is what happens when that nobody sees. He deals with the inner man. And when you commit your inner man to God, you may not live a life where people look up to you and say, Dr. So-and-so with the PhD. You may not get that credential that gets all kind of badges on your chest and all kind of pats on the back and hurrahs and hoorays and all of that. You may not get all that. But what you will get is God pleasure, God's smile on your life, God's favor, and above all that other stuff, God's favor counts the most. Now, this is what I want to say to you. Live for God. Let everything you do and don't do be to the glory of God. Let everything you do and don't do be to please God. Let it all be out of your love for God. And what you will notice is if you do that, you are literally doing your due diligence to maintenance your walk. You're maintenancing your future. Now, this is what I mean when I say that. Imagine you have a car. Most of us do. It needs an overhaul. It needs a lot of work. Because maybe it's dragging here. Maybe it's out of alignment. Maybe the tires are worn, whatever. And maybe it needs an oil change. But now what you do is you put gas in the car and you drive it, you drive it, you drive it, and you never get it maintenanced. The oil is black and sludgy and muddy. The engine is filthy. The tires are bald. Well, when you don't maintenance the, the workings of that car, you're either going to have a disaster because of the flat tire or the blowout on the freeway, or you're going to throw a rod or your engine's going to burn up. Something's going to happen because you're not keeping the right amount of oil and your oil is dirty on top of that. Now, knowing that you have not maintenance that car, you look at it and you blame the, man, the manufacturer for all of the shortcomings of that car, for everything that has failed you in that car. But here's the thing you have to remember. The car did not fail you. You failed that car. Because that car would have lasted you an extra 80, 90, or 100,000 miles had you taken care of the car's maintenance and done everything on schedule according to the manual. What are you doing according to the manual that God gave us? How does your life compare to God's manual? the Bible? How does your life compare to his righteousness? How, did, how does your life compare to forgiveness, to mercy, to the fruits of his Holy Spirit? How does your life compare to living holy, to loving, doing everything out of love, doing everything out of kindness? How does... How, what kind of maintenance 
What are you allowing to slide in your walk with the Lord? What are you not taking care of? What are you not doing that you should do? Have you given up on praying, talking, communicating with God, pouring your heart out to him? When life's vicissitudes happen in your life, do you get so upset that you go out and you handle things your way because you ain't got time for no talking and stuff. You got to go handle this mess. Well, maybe if you follow the manual and you maintenance your walk with prayer, the solutions would come a lot quicker and it would cost you a whole lot less, if anything at all. Maybe if you maintenance your attitude, you would get a lot further in life because God would be able to give you all the favor you need with people because they just love you because of your wonderful attitude, your wonderful holy demeanor, your positive, your, your whole positive being, everything about you is just such a pleasure to be around. Why? Because you're allowing the Holy Ghost to use the fruits of the Holy Spirit to manifest in your life which are the characteristics of God's character rather than yours. Are you maintenancing that? Are you reading the word of God? Are you talking to God? Are you putting aside childish things? Are you laying aside the works of the flesh? Or are you just letting whatever, 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 whatever? Hmm. Because you ain't got time. Too much work. Anything that's worthy of anything is going to take effort on your part and mine. If you want to go far in the Lord, if you want to do exploits in the kingdom, you have got to be willing to do your due diligence. You have got to research, study, pray, talk to God, read that word, learn under someone else's leadership, training you up in the gospel and the things of the Lord. You have got to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord so he can raise you up. But if you never maintenance, how can you, how can your oil be anointed if it's dirty and sooty and you, you never change it, you never repent, you, you, oh boy, are you hearing me? If you want to reach higher heights, deeper depths, and you want to be all that God called you to be, you've got to maintenance your walk with the Lord. Don't slack up on taking care of what belongs to God. Work it, baby. Work it according to his ways, not yours. And you will see growth. And as you see growth, God will take you places you can't take yourself. He'll put you in positions you're not even qualified for. And you will have great success. At least good success. don't neglect what God has given you. Don't neglect the treasure. No more than you would neglect your car. And if you neglect your car, think twice. If you want that car to last you as long as it's supposed to last. Think twice if you want your life to, be, to go as far as God has ordained it to go. Think twice about what you're doing to maintenance your life and your walk with God and your relationship with him. In the name of Jesus, I exhort you, reach. God is your limit, not the sky, God. And there is no limit with God. God bless you.